All right, welcome back to the innovation stage. Our next speaker is Laura Krashakova. She is the CEO at SpaceQuant. Please join me in welcoming Laura to the virtual stage. Hello, everybody. I'm Laura, Laura Kashakova, CEO of SpaceQuant. SpaceQuant is automation and intelligence platform for commercial real estate lenders and investors. And today we're going to talk about practical examples of how AI and automation are already used and transforming commercial real estate lending already today. Well, today, commercial real estate lending is pretty much where it was 30 years ago. It is slow. It is very manual. Lenders have to go through tons of paperwork, spending days or even weeks to provide initial quote on the loan. As a result, it is very expensive, both for the borrower as well as for the lender. And most importantly, existing inefficiencies can constrain lending capacity. So for example, if a lending officer is busy processing other deals, they don't have time to look at incoming loan, they will reject it. Or if a, if a lender doesn't have enough data about certain local market, they will charge much higher fees or even reject the loan altogether. So all of that results in a significantly reduced capital availability. Now, how AI and automation already today transforming this process? First, they bring speed. Automation solutions dramatically speed up the process of by automating um, different workflows. Secondly, technology enables to cut costs by eliminating expensive manual work. And finally, most importantly, they facilitate cheaper, more available capital by making the market more transparent, both for capital providers and for the borrower. Now, let's see how it all works in, in practice in more detail. One of the most important steps in commercial real estate lending process is evaluating of property financial and operating performance. The borrower typically provides tons of documents um, on the property to the lender, branch rolls, operating statements, budgets, projections, appraisal reports, just to name a few. And lending analysts, uh, they need to go through all of these documents, manually input all of these numbers into their financial model to get to loan quote. These documents can span over hundreds of pages in total, and they come in different shapes and forms. It could be scanned. A lot of these are scanned documents, could be PDF or a variety of different Excels. And they're all in different formats because there's no standardization within this industry. It's actually one of its major challenges. And typically it would take at a minimum several hours and more often several days or even weeks for the analyst to go through all of this information and to create financial analysis required for the quote. Now, AI powered automation eliminates a lot of this time consuming routine work uh, by using natural language processing, um, different algorithms, uh, data extraction technologies. So software extracts data from all these property documents, including OCR, optical character recognition, or other technolo technologies, depending on the document type. And then it standardizes this data using natural language processing. The analyst only needs to go through um, the analysis, the final standardization, uh, review it, and make changes if needed. And after data is all standardized, uh, the software analyzes it and highlights different areas of potential inconsistencies or where analyst attention is required. This, the processing time is now cut to mere minutes instead of days previously. And uh, importantly, the risk of human error is also significantly reduced. And now since all these routine tasks, such as data entry or basic analysis are delegated to machine, now analysts can focus on actual underwriting on much more higher value added work on talking to the borrower and building relationships. So here, what you see on the, on the screen now is a quote from, our, from one of our customers. SpaceQuant has removed most of the manual work that was taking a lot of time from our team. The solution allows us to focus on more productive, higher level work, and we get the results much faster. 
That's what Pacific Life Insurance that's managing $23 billion in real estate assets is saying about our platform. Now, in addition, of financial, in addition to financial analysis, a lending officer also needs to analyze data about the location of the property, the market where the property is located. So the uh, automation, automation uh, NAI software uh, solutions help to aggregate all of this external data that is necessary for property analysis, such as location data or real estate market statistics. Most powerful data platforms contain metrics on all commercial buildings and locations, bringing all essential information into in one place. They go beyond traditional uh, data sources um, and beyond traditional data, such as demographics or um, business statistics. They also aggregate a lot of alternal, alternative data. For example, what is the food traffic where the property is or how popular is the location or what's the quality of um, public transit or how far is it from the highways. All of this data helps to put property in context and really provide comprehensive overview of, of the market. Um, essentially, um, similar to digi digitized intuition of a local broker on the ground. So now analysts, they no longer need to go through tons of different other databases and, and sift through information. All of this data is is instantly presented to them once they just input property address and presented in a visual, interactive, intuitive interface. And this enables them to quickly grasp the pros and cons of, of a property location in the market and put the property in context. And all of this comprehensive analysis is now can be done at the fraction of the time and cost that was previously required. Now, with all of this information in one place, the most powerful platforms can now analyze patterns in data and provide risk insight to its users. So for example, uh, what is the probability of the property value to decline during adverse market conditions in a particular local market? So the software can look into hyper granular local statistics. It can look at property characteristics and can extrapolate based on hundreds or thousands of other properties um, in performance of other properties in similar locations and make a prediction about this particular property in question. This is just one example of predictive analytics that is already applied today. The other important trend in the industry is that financial modeling is moving from Excel to the cloud. The financial industry has already understood the power of cloud computing and limitations of Excel. Many bank executives already are in the process or have it on their near-term roadmap to move all underwriting from Excel to uh, web-based cloud platforms. The benefits of a cloud-based solutions are huge. And just to name a few, you can instantly compare property to other properties that are right next to it or, um, or in the, within the vicinity um, compare their revenues, their expenses, their vacancy and tenants, and um, the, the software can highlight um, certain items in, in property financials where it shows significant inconsistencies compared to other properties. And therefore, it will alert the analyst to, to look deeper in, in, into these parts of operating, operating or financial performance of the property and maybe call, call to the borrower and ask additional questions. Additionally, such cloud-based financial models are interconnected with a variety of data feeds, uh, internal or external. Model assumptions such as rents, vacancies, all others can be automatically fed from databases that are maintained, for example, by the financial institution's economic desk, for example. This can help create more accurate analysis, which will automatically update if the economic or real estate market uh, conditions change. And finally, um, the best of such platforms automate many steps of the lending process, but they don't completely remove human. They keep the human in the loop, what it's called. The best platforms allow analysts to review every step, make any adjustments, and incorporate assumptions during the assessment process. This is particularly important for commercial real estate because every property is unique. The software does the heavy lifting empowering the analyst and loan officer to make final underwriting judgment calls, 
with all the data and supporting an analysis uh, at their fingertips. To summarize, AI and automation in commercial mortgages uh, help at various steps of the process, from analysis of the property financial and operating performance, to prediction of its performance, risk assessment, and valuation. However, retaining the ability of the analyst to review and make adjustments is crucial. As a result, the lender can dramatically speed up the process and improve deal screening and property underwriting at a fraction of the time and cost it was required previously when they were doing everything manually. And at the end of the day, all of that will make capital cheaper and more available to the borrowers, to all of us. Thank you. Wow, Laura, thank you so much. That was amazing. And I know this virtual audience is giving you a huge virtual round of applause. <laughs> thank you for sharing with us today. For the audience, it's time for you to make your way to your next session. Along the way, make sure you accept your connection request and take some time to check out our amazing exhibits. Thanks so much and we'll see you around.